for years we have had bins of bulk Lego that we lined up along this bottom shelf here and for nine dollars you could pick your own bricks and fill a bag of um, uh, of Lego for nine dollars uh, for the quart size and then we had the gallon bags that we sold for 25 um, and you could just sit here for hours and pick through bins of Lego I'll show them to you like this you see those bins of Lego here's a bin of Technic bin of Technic got more Lego there I don't know where the others are. I think Hector's taken them. Oh, here's one down here. And the reason why Hector's taken them is because of the new way of living where we don't want to share each other's germs. Um, I took the bins of Lego out, and now what we're going to do is make bulk boxes of Lego. So you could buy a bulk box of Lego. Um, and hopefully it will satisfy some of the demand for bulk Lego that we can no longer fill by building your own bags. So let me show you what Hector brought in today. What I'm going to do is go through these bags that he has sorted. He takes out a lot of the kind of fancy pieces, like these pieces. See these pieces here? They're just so random. We take these out and we make these bags of bulk bricks. These are a lot more similar to the, ba the, to the um, boxes that LEGO would have originally sold. Um, remember you could buy a pail, like a little plastic pail or a box with a handle and it would have LEGO in there and it would just build. It was almost like kind of creators now, but it didn't even have, uh, you didn't have instructions really, maybe some ideas. But it was just free building and today they just don't have a lot of that with Lego anymore. Now you have to buy sets. You have to buy a, a, a Star Wars spaceship or some house or some architect set and the pieces are very specific to the sets. Makes it difficult to build other things with those same bricks. So, we are creating our own boxes of bulk Lego so that if you need more basic bricks, the brick elements like the rectangles and the squares, see them in there? Flat pieces. If you need more of those, you just get in touch with me because we will have boxes of, this, boxes of these to sell and uh, you can even drive by and pick one up. Besides taking out the bulk Lego, we took out the build your own minifigures as well. If you remember, we had this shelf here, which is now almost empty. I'm going to have to find more stuff to put on here. But this shelf was full of build your own people uh, Lego minifigures. I'll show you some of those boxes. See how there's parts there? We had a bunch of bodies and body parts, heads, helmets. Here's a box of uh, just the Halo figures. And these were all in the Build Your Own Minifigure section. Here's some Friends ones. See the Friends parts? You could build your own minifigure Friends. And we had those for $3. We're in my back room so it's a little dark. See this bag here? This was in the Build Your Own Minifigure section. For some reason, people want to pull the arms off of the minifigures and pull the hands out. See those? So we have even bags of those kinds of body parts. Here's some more. Um, at one point, Hector and Mike had them. Here's, I'll show you this one again. That has a lot more of the Star Wars in it. See it? Um, we had them separated by theme. Like we had parts of the um, 
Ninjago and parts of Star Wars and parts of other themes so that you didn't have to look for them too much but to tell you the truth oh I've got to go back to tell you the truth uh, they got mixed up because the kids pulled hands out and pulled the arms off so that being said I'm going to show you what I'm going to do instead of having the build your own minifigures for three dollars see that this is a little two by two box that has five minifigures in there you see them they're just random random parts now the heads and the helmets and that kind of stuff match pretty well like we don't want to put like a western hat on a construction worker for instance even though construction workers will wear western hats but what we're gonna do now is we're gonna build these minifigures ourselves just random ones put them in a box like this and I'm gonna sell them over in my Lego section like this for five bucks that is one dollar per person so if you need some of those you let me know so here are the four twenty-five dollar boxes I got together of bulk Lego see them they're gonna be really good sets especially if you want to do a drive-by and pick up you just give me a call we'll get you set up This is a box the same size as the ones that I've made the bulk Lego boxes in the same size box but inside this box you can see there are lots and lots of Lego accessory pieces I am just heartbroken that we're not going to sell these by the piece any longer but for the time being, I'm going to sell these boxes full of parts like this that will enable you to take a box like this and really build something marvelous. So I'm going to probably put 15 on these. That's a really good deal.
are you impressed that I could get all of those pieces into that box without spilling one of them? Yeah, it takes a lot of practice. Legos bounce everywhere, as you well know. Okay, this is the rest of the bulk that Hector sorted for me. And what we have here are the bits and pieces that, as I showed you before, we would separate into bins. These are what we call, uh, what did we call these? Plates? No, tiles. That's it. This is a tile. And here's two of them. Here's two tiles. And uh, there's several tiles in here. Look at that. That's really cool. Okay, so this box, as you can see, has a lot of really good small pieces in it. Normally, we would have sold these separately because of the new selling situation. I'm making a whole box of these things, and we're going to sell them in a box like that. As a matter of fact, I might make that two boxes. I like this better. <clears throat> Instead of using that big box, I split it into two smaller ones. These are still pretty big, though. Look, this is the size of my phone. It's a pretty big box. And I got a big phone. Let me show you. Oh, like here. here here's a pen. So that's probably an 8-inch box. 8 by 6 by 6, something like that. I mean, 8 by... 8 by 6 by 6, is that right? Yeah, yeah, something like that. Anyway, these are going to be available at the store. I'm going to show you inside. There are some really good parts in here. Um, tiles. I saw weapons. See, look, there's a little uh, chainsaw in there. This. These box right here, I'm going to sell as accessories to the bulk Lego so that free builders can just have the time of their lives.